Okay, I got a call to pipe this glycol chiller back together at one of the local breweries here. And um, what I did was rebuild the suction lines on this and installed new expansion valves on this tank here. This tank will get filled with glycol and there's a circulation pump and there's the coils inside here and it'll cool the glycol solution down for the beer processing. And here's a look at all the stuff I did right here. And then there's the TXVs and some leftover pipe or the old TXVs. And that's what I got going on this one and I'll show you the rest of it here. Okay, I'm up in the sky. Down there is forklift. Blah, 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 blah. Condensing unit. I got my stuff up here. You can see my line set. Way down there is the tank. There we came up. Into the unit. I'm fitting the liquid line now. Such lines fitted. When I get going, I'll probably weld everything except probably I'll leave one of these ones open so I can slide the insulation on at the end. Okay, I'm weld it up and insulate it. And then inside this condensing is a barking and condensing unit. Okay, so that flange leaks on that valve, my suction valve. Everything else is holding. However, we're going to replace the vibration eliminator, suction accumulator, suction dryer, liquid line dryer, and I'll get all that tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can get a whole new valve right there too. And just okay, there's the old accumulator, suction dryer, vibration eliminator, and valve. This is what it looks like down here with that off. That's the soap from last night. From me checking, it's all soapy bubbles. My liquid line dryer I'm going to cut out and sweat in a new one. Um, let's see here if I can do this. There's a suction screen on the compressor. So I got the old apparatus down on the ground. And then I went ahead and piped up the new one. I got it fitted up and I got to weld it. And I'll take it back up as one piece. I got the new valve. I got the new valve. I silver solder this one. I got it all fluxed up. So it'll be brass to copper with the silver. And then this piece. It'll get cut down and it's gonna go in here and come up to the valve just like that one. It'll be like that. You can see how crappy the old suction accumulator is. You see the last guy just put a fitting in there and welded it where the rotor lock was. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Okay, so I got my silver solder welded up on the back of the truck and then I checked it for any flux pockets and scrubbed it out real good and then this piece of the valve the flange 
You can see it kind of has a, a cone to it, but it actually goes in like this to help hold the gasket in. And when you weld it up, you got to make sure you don't get any, you know, dribbles or else this won't fit over it. So that came out really nice. Um, and I got to cut this down to fit. Okay, got the liquid line dryer changed out in there. Now I'll put the, uh, my little suction assembly I built. I'll get that back in there next. Okay, got all this redone. Nitrogenize this thing, check it for leaks, and then it'll be ready for the vacuum pump. Quite the project. Okay, got this guy on the vacuum pump. And then, uh, yeah, it's really dark in there. I got uh, some spray paint, and I like to spray the top of the accumulator where I made my connections. So it'll help keep it from rusting out. That's another little trick I thought I'd show everybody. Okay, going to get ready to fire off the chiller. we got the glycol solution in the tank down below. Pumps. It's going to be 408A because our unit has mineral oil in it. And there it goes. Let me get this thing charged up. load startup up below my rated amp so that looks good we should carry on here's our tank it's up and running here's our little control panel down below here has the old goal line that's old school set point 36 we're at 53 and cooling simple stuff. Okay It'll pull right on down. Um, Alright, well that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Tools away and I noticed the boy slipped a brewski in the tool bag. That was freaking cool.